<laughs> Good morning. So, yesterday you saw us in the car on our way north uh, within the Netherlands, and we are now at um, the area where Jody's parents temporarily live. They sold their house and have bought a new one, but that one is still being built. And they're currently in a very, very remote area. Well, for as far as that goes in the Netherlands. And we are visiting um, because we bought a new tent to use during winter um, with a wood burner. And we wanted to try it, but we also wanted to try it in a hmm, with a backup. So um, we just had breakfast and we had our first night in the tent. Um, and you saw uh, some bits of it, but we'll show it more to you today. <laughs> so when we do track mill training or lure racing, um, the lures are often this type of tape. And Venus was just <laughs> screaming couple hundred meters away because uh, she thought it was ready for sports but she finally realized that that's not what we're doing today. I get quite a few questions about these coats. Um, these are Hurta um, expedition parkas and I think they are for temperatures up until minus 25 celsius um and venus and mojo wear size 40 hunter wears size 45 venus weighs 14 kilograms and mojo weighs around 15.5 or 16 hunter depending on whether or not he does sports which currently he doesn't is between 18 and 19 kilograms um, and their back lengths are 39 41 43 so yeah, if you go over the 41, you really want a bigger size. And they're nice and wide in the front and they cover the entire thigh area, hip area, and the shoulder. I had to stop recording because there was someone with a dog coming. But uh, these are the coats up close. And no, they were not gifted or anything, we bought these, but we get so many questions and I think it's quite unique to find a coat that fits the compact body of a Stafford um, and these are very nice <laughs> especially Venus and Hunter have a very short back in comparison to their height um, which is quite normal for a Stafford but it goes to show that this is a good fit am I doing? We're on a six and a half kilometer walk. And after that, Jordi will go to lunch with his brother. And I'll stay here, probably bake a cake with Jordi's mum.
It was a cold night, so the water is frozen. Only slightly though. Um, and I'm glad that we're finally walking on something with a bit of texture because the street was so slippery. We ended up walking on the grass at the side. Stephanie? The dogs spent the afternoon cuddled up in their kennel whilst Jody was out and I enjoyed time with the in-laws and it's now dinner time for both us and the dogs and then we'll spend the evening in the tent after another walk in the cold with our thick coats on because it is incredibly cold. Both us and the dogs are nice and warm. dogs are all tucked up. The girls are 
girls are wearing a small fleece sweater and their big coats and Hunter has a full overalls that was sent to me by a friend in Norway. It covers his entire elbow area as well. Are you snoozing Hunter? <laughs> Comfy? We just had breakfast on a half hour walk, taking some pictures, and then we'll pack up the tent, give the dog, <laughs> Hunter is very excited, give the dog their breakfast, and we'll be off. Hunter is still doing good, he has a ligament injury. So he has been on a very strict walking regime for months. We had a setback two months ago. So we have focused on slowly building up the distance again. He has done 45 minutes twice a day, every other day for a while now. So um, this weekend, we did one longer walk, which is the six and a half kilometers yesterday, but that didn't help much at all. Um, they suggested doing five to ten minute walks for a couple weeks and that can actually be worse than doing longer distances. So that was most likely already a setback. Um, we ended up going, we ended up finding a very good radiologist who cleared him of any fractures or any um, issues with the elbow, with his conformation and structure. Um, and then we saw an osteopath and all she could find was a bit of tension in the back, all the way near the shoulders, and that could have caused it. Come to you, So yeah, it's been very boring. As Antor is used to... Um, some fun exercise twice or three times a week. Always 48 hours rest in between and long like, cool downs, warm ups. So um, even if you give your dog plenty of rest, shit like this can happen. Um, but it's not fun because he now can only walk. Um, but we did buy a treadmill that he will eventually be put on back again to trot. Um, but for now it's just walking. And then we have this case as well. <laughs> She's not doing well either, but pain medication is working. But the pain medication is working for her joints, so for now she's good. And this one, this one is perfect. Afini? Yeah, hi. Kenzie? Hi. to clean the wood burner and take the flue out where it started on the outside. Nyori is doing the bed. The hunter is roaming around and the girls are already in a crate in the car. Hunter? 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 I shot on the eight, eh? Took apart the flue. Now it's time to clean it. And try to take this part out, but the rubber bit will stay on the tent. It's a good thing that the tent bag is very big and I hope that we will be able to fit it back in. But look, the tent, it's got a five meter diameter. 
it's huge especially the fact that this part is it doesn't touch the ground but it's upright it makes the tent very big i'll have a better look inside next time but Life. Nee. Hallo. Zitten. Ja, oké. Okay. Blijven. Wachten. Blijf, Lloyd. Blijf. Finescope. Blijf. Hey. Hi. 